On February 12, 2016, Pope Francis met Patriarch Kirill of Moscow in Havana, Cuba, and they signed a joint declaration, and it was huge news. It was the first time that this had happened. Uh, and there was a strong response from the Ukrainian Greco-Catholic Church, specifically about uh, a paragraph uh, outlining the conflict currently underway in Ukraine. Why the response that came from the Greco, Ukrainian Greco Church? Well, I think the important thing to understand is that obviously Ukrainian Greco Catholics were happy that the meeting took place. They were dissatisfied that the dialogue was not entirely honest, and I think the, the fault lies with, with the Moscow Patriarchate here, I think, which, which you know, in some ways manipulated uh, the event. But the specific paragraph that you're referring to is paragraph 26, where they reference uh, what they call hostility in Ukraine without naming the cause of the hostility, which is the um, invasion by Russian troops of Ukraine. And one of the reasons that this goes beyond, you know, questions of, I don't know, ecclesiology, all the kind of things that, that people discuss when they talk about the church is because we're talking about 10,000 innocent lives that have been lost as a result of this conflict, which has been going on for, for two years. And, you know, for the Pope to be sitting next to the Patriarch of Moscow, who, with some of his ideological statements, his promotion of this idea of a Russian world, has actually, you know, facilitated uh, the conflict. For him to be sitting next to him uh, and not in some way indicate to the world that the Vatican is, is, is displeased with this Kremlin aggression um, was, was hurtful for, for a lot of uh, Ukrainians and not just uh, Ukrainian Catholics. And I think the important thing to keep in mind is that it's Russia itself that was a signatory to the 1994 Budapest Memorandum, which was uh, a document signed by the United States, um, France, England, and Russia. Okay, Russia signed the Budapest Memorandum in 1994, guaranteeing the territorial integrity of Ukraine in exchange for Ukraine giving up its nuclear arsenal. Right. So what does this say to any country that might be interested in giving up its nuclear arsenal, you know? Yeah, we're gonna give up our nuclear arsenal and then within a couple of years, we're gonna be invaded. And, and I can't stress this enough as a Christian, as a Catholic priest. The concerns of the Ukrainians are not about, you know, holding on to land, holding on to territory, as, as legitimate as that is, right? I mean, it's legitimate to, you know, desire that your country have, you know, in territorial integrity in keeping with international law. The underlying issue from a Christian moral perspective is, do we try to get people of different ethno-national backgrounds to get along, live together, or not? In other words, what Russia in essence is doing is saying, oh, there's a large Russian language or Russian, uh, ethnically Russian population in eastern Ukraine, we're going to start carving away, you know, parts of eastern Ukraine. Well, I'm sorry, that's what, you know, led to to World War II. That's, that was the Nazi policy, okay? You've got Germans, you know, in the Sudetenland, so we're going to invade. So borders exist. Borders need to be respected as a matter of Christian morality so that those who live within those borders are compelled to get along. And by the way, Ukrainians and Russians were getting along in, in Ukraine. I mean, I've been working off and on in Ukraine for 25 years. There was no problem with, you know, Ukrainian nationalism until Russia decided to invade Ukraine. And this is why uh, we really do hope, and I, I'm very hopeful, I mean, the, the, this Pope is so wonderful in, in, you know, speaking prophetically. I know that he will find the appropriate time to speak a prophetic word, both to Vladimir Putin and to a Patriarch Kirill, so that in essence, you know, the, the Russian troops that are in Ukraine leave. Father Galatza, thank you very much. Thank you very much.